In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome pop-up text effect, and that is right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by dragging some footage into Premiere. So I'm going to go to my Finder, and I'm going to select any one of these previously exported videos. So let's go with Foreground. We'll drop Foreground into the project. So I'm going to drag that into the Import Media to Start tab. And then I'm going to go down to this item. So that is new item, go up to sequence and we'll create a brand new sequence. Now I'm going to rename this to text animation and we'll drag that video into the timeline. Now you want to pay very close attention to the words that are spoken at the beginning of this video. In this video, I'm talking all about this. In this video, in this video, I'm talking all about in this video, I'm talking all about. So that's seven words. We're going to animate those seven words in this example. So I'm just going to delete the last part of that video and just focus on the beginning. So let's just recap. In this video, I'm talking all about this. In this video, I'm talking all about. So from here, we're going to go file new legacy title. We'll press OK on this menu. And then we can just type out that entire phrase. So in this video, I'm going to. So I'm going to put in up to the top left corner. We'll put this next to in. We'll just off center that a bit. We'll put I'm in this video. We'll pull that underneath this. We'll pull I'm under video, talking under I'm, all under talking and about under all. So we've got in this video, I'm talking all about. Perfect. And once you're happy with the look of that, we can come out of the legacy title window and we can drag title one on top of the video. So that is onto video layer two. Then we'll press C on the keyboard to load up the razor tool and we'll delete the title at the end of the video. And we'll just delete that second half. In this video, I'm talking all about this. In this video, I'm talking all about. In this video, I'm talking all about. We have seven words there, and that means we need seven copies of this video. So you want to go ahead and hold option on your keyboard, select title one and drag that up to video layer three. Now you want to keep doing this process until you've got all of the words that you want to animate in. So I've got two so far, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. Now we'll go to the original title one. So we'll press title one. We'll go to effect controls, go into opacity. We'll go to fit and zoom into around 200%. And then we're just going to move this box so that it's on top of the first word. So that is in. Then we'll go to the pen tool or the free draw bezier as Premiere calls it. And we'll just draw a mask around in. Now we'll go to the second title and we'll do the same thing over this in this. Now title three and we'll go over video. So pen tool, go around video. You kind of get the idea. Just keep repeating this process over and over again until you've successfully drawn masks over everything. And once you have completed that, you want to zoom back out to fit. And if we turn off each one of these layers individually, you'll notice they are all isolated to their own video track. So this means we can go through and find the timing for each word. So we're going to go to the very beginning and we're going to find the first word in this video. So in comes in pretty much straight away. So we're going to pull title one over to the left. So we're going to crop the start of that. In this, we'll pull title two over to this. Video, we'll pull title three over on to the cursor. I'm talking all about. Now, you should have all of those title layers synced up to the words. And if we play this back, in this video, I'm talking all about this. 
And there you go. You've got this really awesome text pop-up animation effect happening inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really simple, but it can really add a lot of character and style to your videos. So the next time you want to add some words to your screen, consider doing this pop-up animation effect and you'll add instant character to your video. So if you found this video useful at all, or if you enjoyed it, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And if you're subscribed, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.